We are all used to seeing two or four engines mounted in pods under the aircraft wing. This has become the standard engine attachment for a large commercial aircraft. Their attachment though is interesting and complex. It is not simple as just bolting the engines onto the wing as securely as possible. There are important safety considerations that change this. Engines on most commercial aircraft are placed in pods under the wing. This has several advantages. Firstly, it provides wing bending relief. Weight in the wings, including fuel and engines, counteracts the effect of lift bending the wing tips upwards. It also allows for easier access and maintenance but exposes the wings to more risk of foreign object damage. The engines are usually mounted slightly forward of the wing to help prevent flutter. Some smaller aircraft have engines mounted on the fuselage tail, including for example the Embraer ERJ family and the Comac ARJ21 regional jet. The podded engine is not attached directly to the wing but to a pylon. Designs vary, of course, between aircraft types but the principle remains similar. The pylon is fixed into the wing structure with a solid and very secure fitting. The pylon creates some distance between the engine and the wing. This is vital in the event of an engine fire to protect the wing and the fuel stored in it until the engine fire is extinguished. The engine pods are then connected to these pylons using bolts. Pods are usually connected at just two points, the top of the fan frame and the top of the turbine frame. These connections are designed to take massive forces of the engine, both the forward thrust force and the downward force due to the gravity. The critical part of this design is to safely support the maximum forces experienced but not take too much force. The attachment is, in effect, not as strong as it could be. The bolts that attach the pylon structure are incredibly strong. But this is a carefully balanced and calculated construction. In many aircraft, these bolts are made of super alloys, such as the Nickel Alloy 718. This also raises the question of why the engines are not incorporated directly into the wing. This was the case with some early jet aircraft, including the first jet aircraft, the de Havilland Comet. Such a design may seem stronger and more streamlined, but it has several problems and has been dropped in commercial jets. Firstly, there is the major issue of safety. An engine fire within the wing would be potentially more devastating than in a distant ported engine. In a podded engine, the fire can hopefully be extinguished before it causes any more wing damage. Placing the engine in the wing also uses space that is needed for fuel. Also, as turbofan engines have improved and increased in size, it would just not be practical to place them directly into the wing. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel.